morning. So we're here at the Brett Davis Memorial GP. Track is already set up. We're well, some of the first ones in, so it's kind of quiet right now. So I figured now's the best time to get this video. I'm gonna do a quick uh, walk around the track and show you guys what uh what they've set up for us. It looks mega. You can probably see it in the background there. But good night last night, hanging out with a lot of good dudes that I haven't seen for a long time. So that's like one of the best part of these events is you finally get to see people that you don't see very often and I uh, just go out and have a great time. But anyway, flip this thing around and show you guys what the track looks like. So there you go, there's the track. Now I'm gonna do a quick walk around a couple pit areas they got here. They got one pit area in the hall with the track and then the other pit area on the other side. So let's uh, show you what that looks like. So obviously it's still dark outside. It's uh, 15 after seven, 7, 15, whatever. The uh, people are still coming in, getting sorted, getting settled. And it's, like I said, it's quiet right now, but soon it's gonna be manic inside. Burger van setting up, so looking forward for breakfast. I definitely need some food. Hang on, here, flip around. This is what car park.
Yeah. You find it, you win it. Yay! should be on the track, but there you go. All right, so just finished up with the Brett Davis GP here at Dudley. Great time. I was in the final, like four, basically the four, so the fourth heat of finals, however you want to say it, for 84 to 88. And it was a blast. They're still in there racing. I just wanted to get my stuff out of there while I could. Then I'll go back in and say goodbye to everybody and everything. Uh, I started off eighth on the grid. I ended up with six, so not too bad, but it was, you'll see it. Uh, there's a, there'll be a full video for the race posted up, but yeah, it was a bit bashy, but it was, everybody was out there having fun. <clears throat> so that's what it was all about. I put a GoPro, put the GoPro session on the back of the, the Hornet, and I knew it was gonna be kind of bouncy. I was like, oh, hopefully it'll hold on. I did one practice lap, and I'm like, yeah, I can hardly tell it's there. So I started eighth on the grid out of, I think nine was in the heat, the final, and uh, took off and it's, I'm hoping the footage came out really well for the uh, actual like start grid. Cause when we took off, we were all like mi mixing it up and getting in there really close. So that should be some good footage, I hope. We'll see how it come out. It lasted about two laps before the GoPro came off cause I was crashing a lot. But um, it should be some good footage again, we'll see. But just huge thanks to the whole crew here at Dudley and John Weston from uh, Iconic RC. Another great year, another great event. Uh, a big shout out to all the, the fellas from, from the Curry House and everything last night. We went and had a great time. Food, uh, went to the pub of course, and just had a good time, good catch up with all these clowns that uh, you don't get to see too often. So. That's one of my favorite things about these events is you just hang out with people that you don't see very often and like-minded they're all silly about vintage buggies and just rc cars in general so just, again i said 10 times but it's, it's a great time it really is but anyway i'm gonna uh, i'm gonna get this stuff put away and uh, get on the road here shortly got like a two hour drive maybe a little bit more than two hours and then get home and hopefully get some editing done probably not i'll probably go home and uh just crash out or do something i don't know but be a long drive so we'll see how i feel anyway it's enough of me babbling i appreciate y'all stopping by and if we don't see you on the track we'll see you on the trail later